when Harris first met Emily. He said, I love that girl. I said, but Harris, you really, you know, haven't really dated much. Don't you think you should have more of a variety before you make up your mind? He said, she's for me. I don't need any other person. I don't need to date anymore. Today's the day we've been looking forward to for the past two years. It's finally here. You are the love of my life. I could not imagine my life without you. I still can't believe that we're getting married soon. I never cried till I met Emily. <laughs> In happiness and joy, we thank God for the blessing of love we celebrate today, O oh Lord. Source of all blessings, fulfill every worthy wish of their hearts. Open their eyes to the beauty and mystery of the love they hold for each other. Every day is today. May their life together embrace and nurture this moment of promise. When she was born, I said to her, I will be at your wedding. And this is one of the happiest days of my life to see Emily married to a wonderful guy like Harris. I asked you what first attracted you to your partner. Harris, you told me that it was apparent that Emily was very sweet, and this was the most important thing to you. You could tell that Emily was kind, caring, and just crazy enough that she would take care of you. Emily, you told me that you were attracted by Harris's honesty and his sense of humor. He told you that at the very beginning, that family was important to him and that you were constantly smiling and laughing. You looked forward to your lengthy conversations and you could tell that he was sincere. My favorite is that he gave you butterflies in your stomach each time he smiled at you. I hope that continues for many years to come. The late Ili Wiesel noted that in Jewish history, there are no coincidences. The term Besheret means meant to be, and we feel that this truly describes Emily and Harris's relationship. They started a conversation five years ago, and the conversation continues. 